Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A ping pong ball? Oh, are we going to play table tennis? No, what we're going to do today. Oh, are we going to see how many we can bounce into a cup? No, what we're going to do. Or maybe we're going to do like a special ping pong challenge. No, what we're going to... Special ping pong challenge? Yeah, you know, where we bounce a ball and it ricochets off one thing to another and another and eventually lands in a cup. Say, do those things never work? See? Ow, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about trust. Trust? Oh, this sounds challenging. We're not going to do something crazy, are we? What's the matter? Don't you trust me? <laughs> oh, I trust you, all right. At least, most of the time. Well, trust's a pretty big deal. Do you know why? I'm guessing it's because if we trust someone, it means we depend on them, right? Exactly. And when we make the decision to follow Jesus, we are trusting him and trusting that he'll take care of us and lead us. That's great, unless he's leading us someplace uncomfortable. Well, sometimes he does that, but he's not trying to trick us. He just wants us to trust him completely. And when we do, he will take us to greater heights than we can ever imagine. I bet you've got a verse for this one. Yeah, I do. It comes from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, where it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. So, if we trust in God, He will show us which way to go? Exactly. What if we stray away? Well, then we're likely to fall. Life's just a lot better when we stay in God's path. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call you're going the pong way. And all we're gonna need is a couple of ping pong balls, a straw, a hair dryer, and a toilet paper tube. Let's pretend that this ping pong ball is you, and you're trying to live your life by yourself in your own power. But what happens is you're running in circles and wearing yourself out. So we'll put you on top of the straw, and I'll blow on the other end and show you. See how you're going in circles? Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. And eventually you run out of breath and you fall. Doesn't get you very far. I'll say. But now you discover God and you surrender your life to him and you trust him with all your heart and let him lead. So God will be this hairdryer. Let's turn it on and see where he leads you. Wow, I'm staying calm in the Lord. Not only that, when you trust him, he'll even do things you couldn't imagine, like this. Cool, he's still protecting me, even when I'm a little off course. What happens if I stray too far? Watch and see. Oh man, that's not good. No. You'd be wise to completely trust the Lord and stay in his path with your life. How do I do that? Well, by reading your Bible, praying, making wise choices, listening to God and following his direction in your life. And if you stay in the Lord's path and really trust Him, He'll even take you to higher places than you ever imagined. Watch. Cool! I definitely can't do that with a straw. It seems like we can't go wrong when we follow God with all our heart. Exactly. Trusting the Lord is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that when I try to do life on my own and follow my own ideas, I usually end up going in circles and end up falling. Exactly. But when I trust in the Lord with all my heart and don't lean on my own understanding, He will direct my path and take me places I could never have imagined. Very good. Now, I've been practicing another trick shot with my ping pong ball. Uh, Sadie, I don't think that's a very good idea. Why don't we give that a rest before somebody gets hurt, like me? Oh, come on, Dad. Don't you trust me? Well, oh, all right.
Oh, great. You just broke the camera lens. Oops. Sorry, Dad. Well, look on the bright side. At least you didn't get hurt. Yeah. We'll see you around. 